Yep. I do want to mention real quick the the one other casualty I had, and this one's pretty sad. I'm, I'm pretty pretty mad about this, but it, it's my own fault. I, w- I was being dumb. Um, so I was shooting shorebirds. Um, I was kind of faced um, with the the ocean to my left. I was kind of faced parallel on the beach. Uh, if that makes sense. Like I was more sideways rather than looking straight at the ocean. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was shooting um, and I had my rain cover on, but it wasn't fully covering my camera part. Um, a rogue wave came in, splashed my, uh, my battery grip. Um, battery grip didn't break instantly. Um, but the next day I was shooting um, and every time I would turn on the little, sw- you know how there's a switch to use the buttons on a battery grip? Mm-hmm. on off switch yeah so every time i would turn that on my camera would become inoperable i could take a picture on my camera but i couldn't change the aperture review my pictures anything like that um so it turns out my battery grip was like fried by <laughs> by the salt water oh. uh, which is pretty frustrating because it's a it's a 300 hundred dollar grip um not cheap of course but um yeah, so it was just a rogue wave, and I'm lucky. If I didn't have that grip on, it would have hit my camera, um, and that probably would have busted my camera. So, uh, But just a little bit of salt water, and it, it tore right through that battery grip. So, mm-hmm. That's unfortunate, man. Yeah, and especially using it the next day. I, 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 I don't know. I'm not a master electrician, but I imagine it would like short-circuit your camera maybe. with you know. Yeah, I was so nervous it would do that, so I instantly took it off. That's um, good. Yeah, good idea. Yep. Yeah. And actually, I, I did discover, though, that I, I like my camera better without a grip. Um, it's a lot lighter, mm-hmm. um, and it actually helps me balance it on my, my gimbal head better without it. So um, I do I do have that grip insured, so I'm going to try to get um, some money for it and maybe just not buy another one and invest in a, a new L bracket or something. Because, or, um, you know, I bought an L bracket for the battery grip and not the small camera size, so. Maybe I'll invest in that or something, but and a new pair of binoculars. But. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah, and yeah, battery grips are nice though to have for that vertical shooting, like especially when handheld. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they do add a lot of like bulk and weight to the uh-huh. in the camera and lens. Yeah, you really don't realize how much weight it is. I mean, it's a lot. Like it's mm-hmm. it's a it's a hefty amount with two big batteries in there and everything. So, mm-hmm. but yeah. you know that was my big major casualty of the trip. Um, but it was honestly worth it. You know, the shots I got, um, you know, I've got enough content to post daily for the rest of the year at this point with all the shots I got. 